and G of China will serve this judge. Ever in the world badminton and her highest ever ranking. And the first thing that strikes me, Jim, is the fact that she's actually got a coach on the coaching bench. Very, yeah. very unusual. For her. No. That's the first time I've seen that. So. She normally prefers to play her matches without coaches sitting behind the court. Those coaches ever present in the hall, but she prefers to just focus on doing her own thing. This is something actually I like. Me too. Like the players making their own decisions and figure it out on court. Well, Wangi Han doesn't like the call, it's called goods. The umpire is only allowed to overrule if he sees that a clear error has been made. Oh no, that hit the line. That's yeah, a good call a good by call. the line judge. Good call. Good to see. Another thing that surprised me is Wang Jihan that, that looked really, really didn't look good that injury in Denmark Open. That's just no. actually already playing. I thought that would be out for a while. Yeah. So it's good, it, it's good to see it wasn't worse. Not that it was too bad. It's good to see it wasn't bad. Yeah. Eleven finals this year between the two of them, these two players. Ah! And for Juliana Schenk from oh. Germany. Well, Chinese players must hate the sight of her because she's had so many good wins against so many good Chinese players. She's beaten Wang Xin, Wang Shuxian, beat the Olympic champion, of course, in the quarterfinal of the Denmark Open, Li Xiu Rei. Semi-final, she'd beaten Yang, Yang Jiao, and then lost, of course, to Simon in the Denmark two. final. But I think, you know, She's one of the few players in women's singles who has beaten every single one of the top Chinese women's singles players. Sina Nawal has never beaten Wang Yi Han. Oh. Juliana Schenk has beaten all of them. Apart from the injury, though, to Wang Jian in Denmark. Uh, um, it's, it's, um, she has this uh, untraditional style, uh, uh, Schenk. First of all, her fitness is really, really good. Yeah. So she can she can compete with them fitness-wise. And then she has this untraditional style where she she, she actually almost fights on call <laughs> for every rally, and she keeps coming up with these uh, trick shots, and and, and 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 is not afraid to attack and go all in. Um, and that's uh, that's kind of like she's not showing any respect. And, and, of course, they, they know that every time that they're supposed to play her, she shows up. She, yeah. She's ready to battle it. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I, I think you've summed up beautifully her style of play, but I think sometimes because of her physicality on court and the fact that she works so hard in every single rally, every single match, that she's had problems in the past. While she's had these outstanding wins against all the top players, 
in, in the world, she has struggles to follow that through to taking the titles because you've got to win five of those in a row to actually win the title. It, it's something you see in players that are, are playing like Juliana is playing. It, it, it's, that it's difficult to win tournaments because you don't get any easy wins. No. Uh, and easy wins is, you know, in, in a long tournament, it's something that you, you need to be able to have. Yeah. Um, and now she got an easy one here uh, in the first one because of somebody who pulled out. Um, but if you have to work for every match, um, yeah. then of course fatigue will set in. She's not afraid of playing the game. You know? Even though she, she hits one of those drops in the net, you'll still see her try and challenge it next time. Like that. So, so she has a good confidence. So, so, uh, eight, five. Yeah, it really is extraordinary to think that. This year, in which she won her first Super Series title in Singapore. Fourth Super Series final. Only one really international challenger events. Yeah, look at that ball up right. Good rally. Yeah, very good rally. Very high pace. Both players here. Being at a very high pace. I do often think, so obviously that was a good defensive shot from Wang Yi Han. A little bit of luck. Defensive shot hitting the top of the tape and just trickling over. I often do think that it's quite effective for hitting straight at her. I don't think she's particularly good at defending the body smash. No. Hitting Bin. my opponent, there's another apology. Oh, it was an awfully loose net shot. Oh, there's no question of her being over the net. Interesting thing to me, Jim, the fact that the two errors, ghastly errors she's made on smashes, Wang Yi Han hitting out the side of the court, have both been played from round the head position. And I can speak from experience, having undergone five knee operations and 
that you know sometimes it's that round the head position that you really lose confidence with your with your movement yeah. you know it yeah. and it's 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 you know it's, it's there's a little bit of doubt gives mm. that a little bit of unbalance gives that a yeah. little bit of mistiming yeah. um, that could have an effect there i think another interesting thing here is that we actually don't see the german coach going so he might only be there for support <laughs> yeah so she still prefers to to uh, to make up her own mind how to play. Yeah. Brown with the silver. Yeah, yeah. Making sure all the housekeeping is in order. Towels must be in the kit boxes. Pace, Juliana. She's forcing uh, uh, Van Jehan around the court, not giving uh, Van Jehan time at all to to get into that game. She likes, you know, where she controls it. So uh, she pushes, she pushes the pace up. Spaces. Oh, to take it late on the backhand side. Always a sign that singles players are in trouble. seems to struggle in her offense, you know, in attack, she doesn't seem to, you know, normally I think she has a pretty hard smash down the lines, but maybe that those mistakes, you know, she's playing with a little bit of margin now, um, which I think will be in, in Juliana's favor, because she can push the pace up. And, Is it her attacking play that is what makes her so good? I mean, we've talked a lot about the qualities of Juliana Schenk. You know, when you look at the world number one, current world champion, I mean, there's a very good reason why she's world number one. Is it the attacking play? It's, 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 it's from her overhead on the back court that she can get these uh, cuts and sticks in and then with the attack that makes it very difficult to play. Yeah, against and that's also why you see Juliana not giving her time to to, to use those shots. Um, um, when she's in control, Ranyan, she, she's she's very difficult to play. And therefore, it's not in Ranyan's favor if she can't move that, you know, freely. Oh, word. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, even Juliana Schenk's coach is pleased with that. Talk about outmaneuvering your opponent. Backhand net, deep in the forehand corner. And then anticipating well at the front of the court. Yeah. 
Ana has seen that already, so That's something she would use in the tactic. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's our colleague. Those board broadcasters. Unbelievable. That is fabulous. 14, very difficult shots. Because it's a very good spin. But Julian, it's very close. And good yeah. court vision by Wang Yang. She's yeah. staying up, closing the net. See, she's already standing up there and covering it. She took that when the shuffle hadn't come out of the spin. Yeah. Incredible control. That's more like one, you know. 16, 18. In all fairness, though, I don't think she's been given many opportunities to use her overhead. No. She hasn't been given the time to do that, has she? Just two points, the deficit. Not in totally balance here, you can see it's a little bit behind the shuttle and, and therefore she has to. Yeah, to me she looks very, very tentative moving to that round the yeah, head position. She does. And that's affecting her whole confidence with her shot playing from that corner. It's just, you know, it's also really di different what 
players prefer. I never like to play with a strap because then it reminded me that was something wrong. <laughs> yeah. uh, and we have to understand she's constantly with that strap. She has on reminder on that. You know, she has something with her knee, so of course it will. Uh, also will take some of the movement away. She's had the lead the whole set, and now it's 19 all. Um, just, she needs to really, really focus now. Game 21-19. And that will be a bitter, bitter disappointment to this lady. Really on a shame because Jim Malgerson was saying it led from the start, raced to that four love lead, but at the crucial end of the opening game, it was the world number one who came good. 21-19 in 21 minutes of play. It's very visible that you know that in the middle of the set or in the, the end of the set that the Van Ian had a, had a smash down line from the round the head side that gave her See, as soon as that happened, they gave her a lot of confidence in her shots, and from there on, it was you know she hardly made a mistake. Um, it tells you when you you get that get, get that feeling that or get the feeling back when your game is uh, it's much better. Interesting to me that Juliana Schenk's coach didn't come on to court, but she actually went to the back of the court, the far side, having changed games, and had a very, very brief Play. word with him. Could be that she doesn't like too much info, she doesn't like, you know, yeah. to, she would prefer to have a hit clear and then, you know. Maybe have one or few things, and, and if you are like that, and you have a coach that tells you three, four, five, seven, no, six no. things that you know you have to take into consideration, that it almost becomes too much and ruins your game. So maybe she just said to herself, you know, if there's anything I like to to have help with, I'll come to you, and not the other, other way around, which I think is a good a good way to do it. Well, that was 
about to say what an amazing backhand. But Wang Yi Han was absolutely equal to it. Look how she reaches this and controls the net shot. No wonder she's pleased with that. She looks like she's moving more freely now than in the beginning of the match. Brilliant. Fabulous badminton. See, that's one of Juliana's strengths, you know, where maybe for an old, for Chinese ladies players, she, they will win nine out of ten times in rallies like this, but not with Juliana. Juliana, she's staying in there, staying strong. And that's all down to fitness. Something that... countries can learn from. If you have to compete with the Chinese players, you have to be at least as fit as them. Yeah. There's no, uh, there's no way around it. I do think, though, that there was almost a, a global obsession so with women's singles players that everybody looked at the Chinese and said my goodness they're so fit we've got to work on fitness 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 to, to such an extent that I think that people and coaches and players didn't work enough on their skills the thing that is outstanding to me about all the top Chinese women's singles players is their skill level and of course they're very fit but as we discussed yesterday, you can make a badminton player very fit in a relatively short period of time. What you can't do is develop their skills. That needs to be done from junior level right the way through. And that's why, to me, women's singles is so exciting at the moment because we've got so many very talented, skillful players in the world from Thailand, from India, from Taipei, you know, so many Japan. of them. Japan. Because they're not just looking at the fitness levels, they've no. also developed the skills. Totally right. But if you look at the Chinese players, it's also that, you know, you can see that both can be done, you know, you, yeah. not one or the other. You can, you can train your skills and you can train your fitness. Yeah. And, uh, well, at the end of the day, it's just hard work. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 if if you can't do both, then you uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna make it in lady singles. players over the years, the one who's been successful is, you know, we go back to uh, Camilla Martin, you know, she had that. Mm. Extremely fit and skillful. And when she then stopped the career, we have Tina coming on. Uh, Tina Baum. Yeah, Tina Baum. And, and also, really up to then, and at the end, worked on her fitness. Um, Seven, six. goes hand in hand as you say <laughs> yeah well, if you're very skillful sk if you're very skillful but you're tired after the first rally it doesn't really matter no uh, and if you're very fit but you can't really do the shots then so no way around it straight points for the German. Make that five straight points. Nine, six. She 
just keep going, Juliana. There's nothing. Yeah. Facing him again. Good shot. Ten, six. Brilliant. Yeah, well worked for Ali. My Wang Yi Han. Now, if we just talk about fitness, this is not the way it sits yeah. in. Um, you can see both players. singles is being played like many singles now the physicality that court movement we saw in that last rally the jump smash and the fact that she's won seven of the last eight points in German at the moment looking very good indeed Old expression on the face of Wang Yi Han. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Juliana is not giving her the time to, to set it. This is an extraordinary passage. You played nine of the last ten Seven. points. Have been won by Juliana Shea. Game and six four up. Really yeah. hard. I possibly thought that things were very much going her way.
think what's frustrating Magne at the minute is she's, you know, in her in her attack she can't really get the shuttle on the floor and that therefore she she overdoes the shots a little bit. Um, but it's down to a Juliana's credit with uh, being really good in defense. So, so, uh, nine, 14. to see that in the new shuttle, a little bit faster than the other one. And you hit the same speed as you just hit the other shuttle and then it goes out, so to adjust. Exactly like the first. Juliana Schenk was 13 9 up in the opening game, and of course, couldn't convert in the end. I'm oh, good judgment. So, it's all a 16 very, win. very important point for Juliana. His expression, does he? Chinese coach. Uh, three or four she's yeah. put out the back since she changed that shuttle. It's a little bit funny because in the other games it's been on that side where the drift has, has been against her and yeah. she's 
So maybe the drift has changed a little bit. Uh, or maybe they just are too strong. <laughs> well, I'm just wondering whether that's a, a quicker shuttle because yeah. that's gone out both ends yeah. of the court. And they're way too good players to do that all the yeah. time. So. I'm very, very surprised neither of them have asked to change that. Yeah. Good support. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the fans behind us didn't like that. Five game point opportunities now for Juliana Schenk to level this quarter final. works in her favor. Um, Great return, and it won't, is indeed one game apiece. Second game won by Julian Seng, 21-16, one game all. One game all confirms the umpire. One game apiece. And a little look from Wang Yihan back to her coach. And there's confirmation. And John Yamashek's coach just goes to his chair at the back of the court. And there's his player to it. players return to court oh, two minutes of the timeout will be taken court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. And again Juliana walking down getting the advice um, so it's again it's her asking for advice and not the other way around um, for me it looked a little bit like he was telling her that if she has that opportunity to kind of like drop shot out in the sides by the post where well, Rang Yang seems to have a little bit of trouble getting his shots. know the importance of making a good start to this deciding game. Enforced errors, an indication of the pressure. Oh, 
up to the coast. seems to be struggling. from Giuliano to, to kind of get those drop shots uh, out by the sides and then work from there. First real sign of fatigue that I've seen from Juliana Schenk. First occasion she hasn't really got herself in position to play the overhead shot. And I wonder if that's significant. You see that? It's and there you can see you will have rallies like this. And, and if you didn't have too long, too many long games before the quarterfinal here, that you know, yeah. you're going to need that energy. So. That's why it's important to be able to win easy matches. Oh, it's round of running. Again, a sign of a little bit of fatigue, you know. It's a classic thing you say in Bampton. It's a, a hoping, <laughs> you're hoping for it to be out. And, it always happens when you're a little bit tired. I've done it many times myself. <laughs> well, it'd be quite understandable that both of them perhaps want to keep the rallies a little bit shorter. And they're probably home going for the winner straight down the line. Perhaps going for it a little too early and missing. to this I suppose the fact that she came over the shuttle had the options and in the end decided to just break that wrist and let the shuttle go back to the net but she could have played the push she could have been aggressive on it and when you've got options of course your opponent then has to hesitate and wait and see what you're going to play that hesitation was some deer well, that's a good threat from Ronnie Hunt Hovering round the net, ready to pounce. Mm. Look how she stands her ground. Yep, very good. Can do about 
that is there. Oh, well, there you go. That's what you do when your opponent hits a, a net cord and gets a lucky winner. You do one back. <laughs> and so much for my theory about Juliana Schenk showing a bit of fatigue yeah. that jump smash in that rally. Absolutely there are, brilliant. There are players who can come back from, from, from hard rallies, you know. Recovery you know, rates. Yeah, recovery. Some are very good at that. Some some have that second wind that's just a something yeah. that, you know um. i've only heard about it <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> i always look for that second <laughs> seems always to go away from me so. but they train so hard yeah yeah this They're is hard work yeah strange and I'm saying that she was in defense doing the defensive shots she didn't use that much energy where Wang was in the attack so you see you doubles and much energy that, that that's Juliana used so that was a very important point for her to win Interesting in that rally, Jim. I thought, what was that? About four clears from Juliana Schenk to the center of the court, which was one of those sort of neutral shots that you were talking about earlier. That then meant that Wang Yi Han couldn't create any angles. it into the court and that you see that leaves Juliana with it and I shot she doesn't know, really know what to do with it. so uh, both of them technically really really smart at the minute they're trying to out duel each other on that front idea. Seven, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's almost like a game of chess, isn't it? You can see how they're both trying to outmaneuver the other, get them out of position. Oh, it's 
clever, isn't it? Yeah. Take a little bit of pace off. Yeah, look at that. That's not a good thing for Juliana. You know, one thing is the breath, if you're out of breath. Another mm. thing is it starts to, to go into your legs. That's difficult to come back from. Um, let's hope she, she gets her legs back. Mm, it almost looked as if she was struggling with the beginning of cramp. Yeah. And there's nothing, in, in badminton, there's nothing you can really do when you get a cramp. It's, it's... You don't have the... Thing like you do in tennis where you can do surveys, <laughs> that's not possible. Yeah. So you have to rally, and that's also what you see here. They they are tactically so good, both of them, that there will be rallies all the time. Oh, it's just long. Oh, my goodness. from the second game. Here we are in the third. Could not be closer. There has to be one point in it. Change of ends, that's all there is. Oh, psychologically, it's all so important, isn't it, that the change of ends to have the advantage. Especially if you're finishing the end that you've Enjoyed more successful. I think you'll see, uh, think you'll see Juliana try to push up the pace again and force Wang to hang on the back door. And then it's up to Wang to try and get out of that by doing something like here, go on the service return and be a little bit, bit sharp in an attacking game. in the attack and that, uh, second second on that side. So, uh, well, what was it I was saying about that Chinese coach who really shows any emotion? He's looking a little bit agitated right yeah. now. That could be significant. He's worried. He's worried. Well, they haven't had that much success to the cold ones in China, so... Uh, Crowd enjoyed the jump smash there from Juliana Schenk. She's just too powerful on that side. Look at that. Fantastic. Oh. Oh, you were absolutely right. 
think she has increased the pace, hasn't she? It's difficult for Wang to get out of because, she, as we saw in the second set, she couldn't really control the back. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so she has to go in and play Juliana's game, and Juliana's much better than that. So, you'll clearly see the second time around pushing on the service return. Yeah, all well, he's happy with that. May not say a lot to his player. Kill from there is not easy. No. Uh, and that's what we saw Nazi doing the mixed double. No. Like it's the only thing she's ever done. <laughs> uh, it just shows you how, how impressive this one Nazi was doing. She's forcing it a little bit too much. Um, needs, needs to go back to using the back call a little bit. Actually, the start and she's got to then She also has to be prepared for the one is attacking right now. She's, she's actually pacing it up right now. So. So, just allowing the players to tell on if they wish. Yeah, it's Nothing you can do about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fantastic challenge. Yeah, reinforcements arrive. Second coach. Jamie has won the singles player and Johnny Coach has finished her match. Drifted wide.
Oh, that's wide as well. My goodness me. Well. Oh, four hours on the return of serve. Oh, man, I think now just two points away. And the first ever semi final here at the China Open. First one back, couldn't manage the second. There's no lack of effort, is there? And you're just indicating to the court attendant where the perspiration is. Thank you. Oh, my God, but she gets up so quickly. See, I wasn't entirely wrong. Attack at the body. Changing the shuffle. Things going on. We have never had a whole speed of errors, didn't we? There's, of course, four match point opportunities for the number five seed, Juliana Schenk. Sat on the top of the tape. Look, then went over. It's almost the worst that can happen at that time. Mm. This is why it's pretty smart of her to get out and just use the towel. And... Still match point opportunities, though, for the German. Oh, look, she's breathing heavily, isn't she? Big gulps of air. And this time, second time of asking. And Juliana Schenk has defeated last year's champion. Yeah. A little smile from the coach. My goodness me, he didn't have to work so hard today, did he? Juliana Schenk, absolutely superb. Well, an hour and nine minutes of badminton of the very, very highest quality. 19-21, 21-16, 21-17 in the deciding game. And Juliana Schenk, there is confirmation of the score. She is through to her first ever semi-final here at the China Open, defeating last year's champion in three terrific games.